The elastomold shrink-fit cable joint is a permanent, fully shielded, fully submersible medium voltage joint for aluminum to aluminum and or aluminum to copper conductor wire shielded cables with a continuous operating current rating equal to that of the cable on which it is installed and a rated voltage as indicated on the joint housing. Joints with copper to copper connectors are also available. Danger all apparatus must be de-energized during installation or removal of parts. All apparatus must be installed and operated in accordance with individual user, local, and national work rules. These instructions do not attempt to provide for every possible contingency. Do not touch or move energized products in the work area. Inspect parts for damage rating and compatibility with mating parts. This product should be installed only by competent personnel trained in good safety practices involving high-voltage electrical equipment. These instructions are not intended as a substitute for adequate training or experience in such safety practices. Excess distortion of the assembled product may result in its failure. Failure to follow these instructions will result in damage to the product and serious or fatal injury. For more information on parts, installation, ratings, and compatibility, call the nearest Elastomold office. Important. Check contents of package to ensure they are complete and undamaged. Check all components to ensure proper fit with cable and or mating products. Read entire installation instructions before starting. Have all required tools at hand and maintain cleanliness throughout the procedure. Product must be installed within a two-year period of time from the manufactured date on the label and part. The temperature of the joint and that of the environment in which it is installed are critical to the proper conforming of the splice to the insulation of the cable. Refer to instruction sheet for details. Overlap both cables and cut to 12 inches from center line of joint. This procedure will ensure sufficient length of shield wires to be able to rejoin over joint. Where applicable, remove cable jacket of cable 1 to 21 inches and that of cable 2 to 21 inches. Two methods of removing the jacket are shown here. Place the tool on the cable. Make sure this tool does not nick the concentric neutral wires. The jacket is ring scored and then the lever is moved to the spiral cut to score the jacket to the end of the cable. Be sure to place the tool on the cable with the arrow on the tool pointing toward the end of the cable. Also note that this tool should be rotated counterclockwise to assure that the spiral cut moves toward the end of the cable. Then, one concentric neutral wire is exposed at the end of the cable. The jacket is then peeled from the cable end to the ring score. Method 1 is used on copper tape shield and other non-concentric or flat strap neutral cables. The jacket is ring scored. Then, one concentric neutral wire is exposed at the end of the cable. The neutral wire is exposed about one inch where the neutral winder is attached. The neutral wire is wound to the ring cut. The jacket is removed, exposing the neutral wires. Fold back shield wires. Cut both cables at center line of joint. Bend the joint back and forth to allow the cores to move to the inside of joint. Slide the joint over the folded back concentric wires. Measure back from the edge of the conductor 8 inches and place a piece of tape at the edge. This tape marker will be used to center the joint. Do the same on each cable. Use the stripping guide on the side of the installation instructions or measure using the dimension table in the instructions and 
Set tool to the proper depth so that the tools will score the semicon but not cut the insulation. Ring score the semicon and then carefully strip score from the ring score to the end of the cable. Strip score four to six times equally spaced around the cable. Carefully remove the semicon, making sure that the semicon is not lifted at the ring score. Measure and mark the cable insulation according to the stripping guide. Next, set the depth of the insulation removal tool to assure that it does not nick the conductor. Set the tool at the end of the cable then rotate the tool in the reverse direction to make sure that the blade clears the conductor. Remove the cable insulation to the dimension in the table. Aluminum conductors must be wire brushed and immediately inserted into the splice. Be sure check dimension prior to crimping does not exceed check dimension 1, otherwise redo assembly. Crimp the splice following the recommendations provided with it. Rotate each crimp 180 degrees to prevent connector distortion. Wipe off all excess inhibitor where applicable. Then check the distance between cable insulations. If it exceeds check dimension 2, redo assembly. Remove any sharp protrusions, burrs, that were generated when crimping the splice. Metal chips, filings must be removed from the splice prior to assembly into position. Clean cables with approved cable cleaner where indicated. Always spray the cleaner on the wipe, never on the cable itself. Lubricate in the direction of arrows to provide a buildup or ramp of lubricant at the edge of the insulation shield. Position the joint up on cores over the connector and in between the tape markers. Cut the bands holding the cores into the splice body. Squeeze the joint body in the middle. If required, hook the T-handle tool into the slots at the end of the core and hold the joint body while pulling on the cores to expel them. Once both cores are expelled, the joint body needs to be centered between both tape markers. Remove the tape markers from the semiconducting shield of the cable. Wrap a loop around one stress cone and twist tightly. On the other end, wrap a loop around the stress cone and twist tightly. Connect each end of the grounding wires into an appropriate connector along with the shield wires of each cable. Crimp Concentric Neutral Connector Cut to remove excess neutral grounding wires.
reconstruct cable jacket per owner's requirements. Then the installation of the shrink fit cable joint is complete. 